Hello, my name is Julie Spencer and my project was the genetic correlation between food preference and the ability to taste PTC. The purpose of this study was to investigate a possible correlation between the ability to taste PTC and food preference in the human population. So a little bit about the background for this project. Um, it came to me when I was researching how PTC was related to smoking behaviors because my sister had done a project on that. And so I took the idea of PTC from my sister's project and I made it my own and I researched a little bit about um, PTC being related to similar bitter compounds that we find in foods um, like Brussels sprouts and from the cabbage family. So previous studies suggest that genetically mediated sensitivity to the bitter taste of PTC have been long associated with enhanced sensitivity to other sweet and bitter compounds and new studies suggest that tasters and super tasters may also differ from non-tasters in their taste preference and in the patterns of food rejection and food acceptance. It was hypothesized that individuals who were homozygous GG, which is an extreme taster, would have a higher sensitivity to bitter foods such as Brussels sprouts, bold coffee, and grapefruit. This was thought because when you test the individual, they have, they have a genotype that could be GG, which is an extreme taster, CC, which is um, a non-taster, which means they don't taste the PTC at all, or GC, which means they slightly taste it. Now, furthermore, those individuals would also find the foods less pleasant and bitterer than subjects with heterozygous GC, mild tasters, and homozygous CC non-tasters because they are more um, sensitive to bitter compounds. So for the experimental design there was two major steps to this project. One of them was obtaining food preference results. So what you would do with the test subject is that you would feed them a control food and three of our test foods and they would swig water in between and you would give them a scale with pleasantness and bitterness rated on a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being not bitter at all and 10 being extremely bitter or 1 being not pleasant at all and 10 being ex very pleasant. Um, and then you would obtain all those results and you would put them into Excel for analyzing. Um, and the second major part was PTC genotyping. And you needed a real-time PCR machine for this. And so setting that up, we had 75 test subjects. And so I had to run two plates. And um, so you get 44 of the test subjects DNAs and you would have four negative controls um, and what went into that was the master mix and the DNA and then you would put it in the real-time PCR machine and <clears throat> you would get their genotypes for whether they were GG, GC, or CC that way. I also tested their phenotype for the PTC strip just so that the results could be supported better there, so that their phenotype should match their genotype. So as I explained in the last slide there's step one which is obtaining sub test subjects. Um, there's step two DNA extraction from buccal swabs. Step three PTC phenotype determined using PTC paper and control paper. Step four, blind te taste test of four different foods with ranking for bitterness and pleasantness scale, one to ten. Step five, genotypes determined using SNP genotyping assay for the TAS2R38A and real-time PCR machine. And step six, statistical analysis performed to assess results. <laughs> 
Okay, so for my genotyping results, um, I found that 20 were homozygous CC, which is non-taster. That's about 30%. Um, 19 of the subjects were GG homozygous, which is about 28%. And 28 CG heterozygous test subjects for 42%. So basically, I ruled out the CG test subjects. Um, didn't really pay much attention to them. I was really focusing on the complete tasters and the non-tasters. Um, as you can see, there's an average bitterness rankings for genotypes. Um, so we have here the control, the grapefruit, the black coffee, and the Brussels sprouts. And these are averages um, of the scores that each um, genotype resulted in. Uh, I chose personally to focus on Brussels sprouts because Brussels sprouts have a bitter compound in them that is the most related to PTC because PTC is not actually found anywhere in nature but it is related to a lot of um, bitter compounds that we eat in our foods every day. Um, so as you can see CC rated Brussels sprouts on a bitterness scale of 8.150 CG rated um, Brussels sprouts on the bitterness scale for 6.960 and GG rated the Brussels sprout 6.684 so the CC population found the Brussels sprouts to be the most bitter out of the three. Now for the results of the Brussels sprout averages for pleasantness rankings by genotype. As you can see, genotype CC ranked um, on the average scale of 3.777778, GC ranked 2.913043, and GG ranked 1.722222. So what I found here was that the CC population um, ranked Brussels sprouts um, the highest on the pleasantness scale. Then um, I did an ANOVA analysis for the Brussels sprout mean bitterness ratings to see if the differences were actually significantly different. As you can see here on the ANOVA test, something that's really critical to look at is the p-value. Um, so if the p-value is less than 0 0.05, you have significantly different um, values and it's credible. Right here it is 0.262375 and that makes the mean bitterness ratings not significantly different. The numbers are not significantly different from each other. On the other hand, I did a, an ANOVA statistical analysis for Brussels sprouts in the pleasantness rating and uh, just this is the one that I was really focusing on because pleasantness has to um, tie in with actual food preference. Um, as you can see here, the p-value for the ANOVA test um, is below 0 0.05 and that means that my information up here is actually um, statistically different. Um, so CC ranked a higher, as I said before, the highest on the pleasantness scale for Brussels sprouts, which means that most of the population for CC enjoyed Brussels sprouts more than um, the GG population did, and this supports my hypothesis. It was originally hypothesized that homozygous genotype GG would have the highest bitter ranking averages on all of the three bitter tested foods. It was also hypothesized that homozygous genotype CC would have the lowest averages on the bitter rankings. This was only true on one of the three bitter foods tested, which was bold coffee, um, but I decided to focus on Brussels sprouts instead because, as I said before, they have the most, um, the bitter compound inside of them that is most related to PC PTC. Um, with Brussels sprouts, the genotype GG ranked an average of 6.68, 
while genotype CC ranked an average of 8.15 on the bitterness scale. So this would go against my hypothesis, but putting it through the ANOVA test um, shows that there was no actual significant difference. However, the Brussels sprout genotype GG ranked an average of 1.72222, while genotype CC ranked an average of 3.7778 on the pleasantness scale. And um, this supports my hypothesis, and the ANOVA test says that it is significantly different, the numbers are. Um, so right here it says the ANOVA statistical test showed that with a p-value of 0.26 there's not a significant difference between the bitterness rankings for the three genotypes. Um, and however with the p-value of 0.04 there is a significant difference between the pleasantness rankings for the three genotypes which I just said. In conclusion, the hypothesis was partially supported by the data. The ANOVA test simply indicates that there is a significant difference in the mean ranking for pleasantness for the three genotypes. With this data, it can be concluded that there could be a correlation between the ability to taste PTC and certain food preferences. However, more research needs to be conducted. For the discussion, as I said before, the results were conflicting but I don't know if I would credit the results for the bitterness scale because they were not significantly different. Um, the average bitterness ranking for those with CC genotypes was higher than those for GG genotypes, but it wasn't significant as I said. The average ranking for CC homozygous was significantly higher for pleasantness than the GG homozygous and this supports the hypothesis. It left me to wonder why people that couldn't taste the bitter compounds as well as people that could would rate it on a higher bitterness scale but also higher on a pleasantness scale. That's the conflicting evidence. Oh. I would like to thank my teacher Mr. Henry Weeks and thank you for your time.